So hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe and also support my small business at latricelimited.com. So the workers at Amazon in Joliet, Illinois have gone on strike, okay? I first want to mention that Amazon's net income for the year of 2021 was $33.364 billion, okay? Now we're gonna get into the article. Amazon workers walk off the job in Joliet, Illinois. So I have a video that I do wanna show you and then I'll get into the article as we go. For a safer work environment and better pay during a walkout and rally at a warehouse in Joliet. Today's protest coincides with the company's prime early access sale, which started today and continues through tomorrow. The demonstrators sent a petition to Amazon's CEO with more than 600 signatures. It demanded a pay raise of up to $25 per hour. Why is it that Amazon made $334 billion plus dollars last they year? Might. Why is it they made that money on our backs and our lungs and our feet? And we make, as of about a week ago, $18.50 an hour starting pay. Amazon has not commented on the... Amazon employees at an important distribution hub in Joliet walked off the job Tuesday, calling attention to the demands for higher pay and new workplace safety rules. The walkout by some employees on the day shift was time to disrupt the retailer's operation during the prime day promotion last Tuesday and Wednesday. It was part of the national pressure campaign supported by pro-labor groups that included job actions near Atlanta and a walkout plan Friday in San Bernardino, California. Organizers said that more than 600 workers in Joliet signed a petition demanding that the company raise base pay hourly wages to $25 because right now it's $15. Depending on where you live, they said the average is 19. That does not mean everyone's making $19 an hour. You got people who are still making 15 because of where they live. Someone in Illinois is not gonna be making the same amount as someone in New York. But still, with the amount of money that you make, billions and billions and billions of dollars, you got a multi-billionaire who got super yachts and all this stuff, you can easily afford to raise someone's wages by a couple dollars, okay? Depending on where they're at on that supply chain, on that food chain, okay? Amazon has said it has raised average starting pay for warehouse workers to $19 an hour, but that also depends on where you're at. But $19 an hour and you're living in New York, and the rates are just constantly going up and everyone says well why don't you just move it's not easy to just move y'all okay anyone with common sense would know it's not easy to just pick up your stuff and go okay We're, you got all this stuff you you ain't got a you don't have money for a mover so how are you gonna go anywhere where are you gonna go then you gotta look for another job over there let's say there isn't a job at that time so where are you gonna go you're just gonna sleep in a car oh i'm sorry you don't have a car so where are you gonna go okay come on so the workers are also demanding a more robust company response to death threats directed at black employees that they said were posted in an employee washroom last May. Cesar Escutia, a warehouse associate for about three months at Amazon, said a manager was dismissive about the threats despite widespread employee concern. All right. His wage is $18.50. Destiny Collins, a worker in Joliet, said Amazon has installed metal detectors, but only for when the staff walks out and not in. So they're worried. Oh, they're going to they gonna steal that watch that costs $20. So let's do that. But yeah, y'all could bring guns. You know, y'all could bring guns, knives, machetes, butcher knives, all this stuff. We already know y'all don't like black people. So y'all could do whatever. But oh, heaven forbid y'all steal a $20 watch. This facility is a cross dock warehouse, all right, meaning that it takes products from vendors all around the world, all right, sorts it and ships it out to different regional facility centers, a uh, fulfillment center. So this one is like a big deal, okay? This one's getting all the other stuff, the international stuff, and we're going to sort it out. And that's why it's so big because I was reading these numbers. I'm like, 600 people sounds like, goodness gracious, how many people work here? It's huge, man. So this warehouse I was talking about is called MDW2, all right? And people have been making many complaints about it. Here's a couple. There are a great many people in there who wear masks, not necessarily to protect themselves from any kind of virus or disease, but because there's so much dust and small particles. And if you say, you tripping, dude, 
when I used to work at a warehouse, okay, there was so much dirt. You clean your nose at the end of the day, nothing but black stuff. You clean your ears at the end of the day, nothing but black stuff. I wore my contacts there one time because I just got my contacts and I'm like, ooh, I got my contacts. I ain't got to worry about my glasses. Or one time and those small particles got under the contact lens, got on it. And this stuff, oh my goodness, it was, it was, my eyes were like messed up, you know, for that day. I went to take them out and my eyes were bloodshot red for three days straight. I had to, that was the very first time I had to use the red eye, clear eye, red eye, you know, drops and whatnot because, or, you know, because it, the particles, it was all the particles in the air that was just it was it, it was pollution i mean that's really what it was it was not clean they didn't filter out the area people think oh it's a warehouse you got the docks in. this place is dirty okay and it was so bad my eyes were red it, oh my goodness and it wouldn't go away i had to keep applying drops throughout the day because my eyes would not revert back to its normal color that was the first and last time i ever wore my contacts in there and any other time yeah you get that weird uh, black slit everywhere Escutia also accused the company of not taking recent on-the-job injuries seriously. MDW2 is a facility where employees accuse Amazon of failing to respond properly after racist death threats were scrawled on bathroom walls in May. Workers publicly shared photos of graffiti and they said it was on two of the women's stalls there. Okay, so one was saying, "Ends gonna die. I'm gonna put it up here, you know. But, you know, it says N's gonna die. It says an F these N's at uh, MDW2. And there we go. Okay. It says more than 30 employees have filed hostile work environment charges with the Federal Equal Employment Opportunity Commission regarding the death threats and other claims of racism. After the filing of the EEOC's claims, workers say that they face retaliation from Amazon. Amazon did not respond, of course. Oh, I, I, what are you talking about? I mean, did, could we have really done something like that? Yes. Problem also ranges from sexual harassment to on-the-job physical harm. This is crazy, and you know this. If it's happening in one location, it has to be happening at all. Maybe not specifically, but in general, yes. They say more than 600 workers have signed the petition. All of this, I find it to be very interesting. I mean, we can't pay y'all $25 an hour. Y'all, y'all greedy. You know, y'all just, y'all always want something for nothing. Yeah, you, what, where y'all quote is that? Huh? We ain't got money to do that. Yeah, you could pay Union Busters $3,200 <clears throat> per day, mind you. Okay, yes, $3,200 per day. Looking at all of this stuff, I mean, people want a livable wage okay if food is going up gas is going up because gas remember went down to like about 280 about no nah, it was about 290 and then now i just went get to get gas and it was like 315 so you got gas going back up and it will keep going up you got food going up you got uh i mean you got your rents which are expected to go back up i actually did read something about a possible recession everyone's like oh it's gonna happen yeah i was reading about it possibly happening between five to nine months from now um that's what people are saying so you're gonna have house prices i mean it's just a lot of things that are going on so more power to them i wish every organization was like this and i'm talking about not just amazon but other businesses so we could you know so people could know like yo you, you can't just be messing with us